Hi there, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to offset uh, structural framing members. So, we're going to the 3D view and we'll have a look at what Revit Structure has available out of the box. So, if I select this universal beam here and we take a look in the properties window, we'll see that we have a lateral justification. And currently the lateral justification is set to centre. If I set this to side 1, you'll see the frame moves to the side 1 of the analytical model. And if I then set it to side 2, again you can see that then moves to side 2. Another offset we have is in the Z direction. So you can see currently we're working on top of steel. But again, if I set that to centre, then you'll see the member moves up to the central position. And if I choose bottom of steel, again, you can see that moves to bottom. And in the Z uh, direction justification, we have the ability to set other. And basically here, this allows us to set our own Z value. And you can see here, I've just set that to minus 100. So it's 100 units below the actual analytical model. OK, so that's all well and good for the Z offset. But what about if we want to adjust the horizontal offset to our own value? Well, what we'd actually have to do here is actually edit the uh, family member. So to do this, we'll select the universal beam. And we can either right click and choose edit family, or we can choose edit family from the ribbon. So we'll go to edit family off of the ribbon. And this now opens up the family editor. So we're seeing the 3D model at the moment. And you'll see there are two models. So we have the uh, medium level of detail model without the root radius for the fillet and we have the fine level of detail here and again you know, that will control what you see in the project so you can see we're seeing the fine level of detail here and now the medium level of detail so to make this edit successful we're going to have to basically select both solids so you can see I'm using a crossing window here just to select both the solids and in the properties window what we'll see under the profile here is a horizontal profile offset and also a vertical profile offset. Now what this is going to do is this family is actually swept. And if I just edit the sweep so you can see how this is working, you'll see here that we're actually using a, a profile. And basically these parameters here are going to control the offsets of this profile. So here, what we're going to do is associate the family parameter. So we can select this icon, and you'll see the Associate Family Parameters dialog box. So I'm going to add a parameter, and I'm going to call this one Horizontal Offset. Now, of course, this does need to be an instance parameter, because each member, each framing member, will potentially require a different offset. And I'm going to group this under constraints and say OK. And we'll say OK again to the associate family parameter. Now, before I say OK, you'll see here that this is um, available as a field. As soon as I say OK, you'll see that's now greyed out. And we have an equal button here. And that means this parameter has been controlled at a higher level. So I'm going to load this back into the project. Okay, and we'll overwrite the existing version and its parameters. And basically, that's put that parameter into all the universal beam families, regardless of the serial size. So, as an example here, if I change the serial size to, say, a 457, like that, if I now select the beam, notice you see our new parameter, horizontal offset. So, as an example here, I might want to offset that 50 units. And you can see that the physical member actually moves out 50, but it's leaving the analytical member uh, where it is. Now, we will require some extra work here. If I have a look at the level 2 floor plan, what we'll see is that the hidden detail is actually left behind. So we actually need to control that hidden detail as well. So let's do that. So we'll select the beam again and go back to Edit Family. This time, we're going to use our project browser to have a look at the floor plan. And you can see here we have our hidden detail. Now what I'm going to do is just move the hidden detail away. 
like this and I'll remove the constraints okay so there's the there's the hidden detail now first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually lock the hidden detail into the web of the beam so I'm going to use a line here Yep, select the reference and then select what I'm moving and then make sure that's locked in. I'm also going to double check that the items are actually locked in to the end of the beam as well. Now I think that end is already locked so let's try this end. So we go to a line, select the end of the beam okay, and that one's locked in as well. So we'll load that back into the project and overwrite the existing version. Okay, now we can see that the hidden detail representing the web is now shown correctly. And of course that edit will now be available for every single beam we want to offset. So as an example here, if I just take a rough measurement there, I can see that if I want that to line up with the uh, edge of the flange there, I need to move it about 52 millimeters. So we'll make a change there. And if it goes the wrong way, we can just put a minus in the properties box there. And again, you can see that that's now moved out as well. And of course, you can do that for any uh, family member in Revit structure. Okay, thanks very much.